I'm gonna start this game off aggressively. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. I will respond to that. Oh, this is gonna be a big turn. <sighs> On your end step, lady. We are having some problems over here. I do not have a plan for that. Quit hitting me. I'm gonna attempt to exile that. No! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Extra Turns. It's a spicy one because... It features the return of Lady, Lady Danger. Danger. Woo -hoo -hoo. We also have a brand new guest on here that actually has been with us at the Command Zone for a couple of years now. It's Damon Lenz. Yeah, Damon is one of our editors on the podcast. He's been on like some pre-con upgrade episodes right. and things like that, so you might recognize him. Game Night's Live as well, but he's never been in a gameplay episode yeah, before. Yeah, we're so, playing yeah. cool homebrew decks with some really cool cards in it. So we got to talk about our sponsors. Make sure to check out cardkingdom.com slash command. If you're looking to pick up any magic cards at all, whether or not you have your own extra turns at home, you want to cast an extra turn spell, or you want to spice up that current brew that you've got going, cardkingdom.com slash command has all the cards in a huge inventory. And not only that, when you order cards from the website, they ship it to you in one easy, convenient package. So you can just get everything you need in one go, sleeve it up and get ready to play right then and there. Yeah. And of course, once you get those cards from Card Kingdom, you want to keep them protected. Just go to ultrapro.com slash command. If you want to get a deck box, sleeves, playmat, a wall scroll, then go to ultrapro.com slash command. And one of the great things about their website is the fact that they have discounts going on all the time. So mm -hmm. you can often just find crazy deals as they try to move inventory. So again, ultrapro.com slash command. You can also support us directly at patreon.com slash command zone. We love our patrons. Patrons get awesome exclusive perks every single year, including at the lowest level. You can join our Discord, talk with Josh, myself, other members of the crew, ask us questions, join our awesome community there. There's content at higher levels and just so much more. So make sure you check it out at patreon.com slash command zone. All right. Well, it is a, uh, a showdown between you, Rachel Damon, and Lady Danger. In Lady's return, can she take a victory? We'll see. Let's, Let's find play. out. Hey everyone, welcome to Extra Turns. Today, we're bringing on a team member who's never been on the show before. Hey everybody, my name's Damon Lenz. I'm an editor on the podcast team. You might have seen me on our crew episodes, a few budget upgrade guides, or as a member of our secret service on Game Nights Live. And I'm excited to show everybody what I got with Raynar the Ever Watchful. When I exile things from my hand or the battlefield, my commander makes flying spirits. So all of my tricks exile like foretell, suspend, and good old fashioned removal. Then, to really bring things home, I can use blink spells to grow my army and reuse my ETBs. Hey everybody, it's Rachel, and today I'm playing Black's Vexing Pest. I'm ignoring the front side of this card to go full mono black reanimator. After all, search for Black's is the perfect way to go digging for reanimation spells while dumping good targets straight into my graveyard. Add in some life gain to stave off the life I'm paying, and I should be able to dig up a victory. The deck I'll be playing is Abomination of Llanor. This is an elf deck that lets me get reckless. So I'm gonna play all the elven synergy you'd expect from an elf ball deck. But I can make bold attacks and withstand a board wipe. Because even in my graveyard, my commander still sees them and stays a huge threat. Today, I'll be playing Sarkon, Soul of Flame. My game plan is simple. Play dragons and attack. My commander makes them cheaper and can take their form. Throw in some spicy Sarkon themed cards and I've got all the tools I need to fry my opponents. All right, let's fight. Is it dragons? You bet it is. Has anyone seen the front side of my commander? This is that a war! <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Let's, Let's do it. Do Hello. this thing. <laughs> I'll draw my card for turn, and I'll kick things off by playing an island and pass turn to you, Rachel. All right, I will draw for turn. You know what? I'm going to start this game off aggressively. I'm going to bajuka bog you, Jimmy. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I'll pass. All right, I'm going to draw, and I'm just going to play a uh, basic land and pass. All right, I will draw my card for turn. I will play a jungle hollow tapped, and I will gain a life. Going to 41. Then I'll pass to you, Jimmy. Okay, I'll draw my card for turn. I will play a land. It's a montagna. I'll tap those two lands and do the commander thing and play an arcane signet. Nice. Go for it, Rachel. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Then I will play a swamp and I will also ramble. I'll cast a charcoal diamond. 
and I will pass. I will draw for turn. All right, I will play a land for turn, and I too will play an arcane signet. That's what, what? I'm talking about. <laughs> two okay. mana rocks, too powerful. All right, and that's it for me. I'm going to pass. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. And then I will proceed to play this forest and pass my turn. Good old fair magic. Nice. Mm. I'll untap. I will draw my card for turn. I'll play a land for turn. I will tap all my lands and I'll cast my commander, Sarkon, the Soul of Flame. Very cool. And I'm done, pass turn. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. I'm gonna start off by playing my land for turn and then I'm gonna cast the backside of my commander, Search for Blacks. Ooh. So I'm gonna look at the top five cards of my deck. I'm going to put two into my hand and the rest into my graveyard. Yep, not bad. So I will lose six life going to 34. Then I'm gonna send Search for Blacks to my graveyard. All right, I'm going to end my turn there, but I do have to discard their hand size. So I'm gonna discard a Thieving Amalgam. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's Thanks notable. Snake. All right, and I'll pass. Great, I'm going to untap, draw for turn. Okay, so I'm gonna cast Knight of the White Orchid, and Jimmy, you have more lands than I do. So that means I get to search through my deck, and I can find any planes card. So I'm gonna get a Prairie Stream, and that'll come in untap because I control two or more basics. And for my next trick, I'll keep the ramp going by playing a Talisman of Progress. Ramp City. Mm -hmm. And with that, I will pass to you, lady. Uh, I will not untap because I have nothing to untap, so I will just draw. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I will play a forest, and then I'm gonna play a soul ring. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look out. And I will tap that soul ring and a forest to play Farhaven Elf. Oh, nice. I'm ramping. Finally ramping. I'll find any basic. I will get a swamp, and I'll come onto the battlefield tapped. And that's gonna be it for me, Jimmy. Pass to you. Okay, I'm going to untap. Now I'll draw my card for turn. I'm gonna play my land for the turn. It is a Haven of the Spirit Dragon. I will then tap for red, red, and I will cast a Dragon Speaker Shaman. Mm. So now my dragon spells cost three less to cast, <laughs> combined with Sarkhan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will tap my last two lands for a red and a blue, and I'm gonna cast a Fur Crag, Cunning Instigator. <laughs> fur Crag! Fur Crag. Fur Crag. <laughs> when that enters the battlefield, it's going to trigger my commander, Sarkon, so I'm going to have it become a copy of it, except its name is still Sarkon and it's legendary in addition to its other types. For Krag has haste, so I will go to combat and I will swing one Fur Krag at you, lady, and one Sarkon at you, Damon. So that's gonna be three damage to both of you in the air. Fur Krag will trigger, and then I'm gonna go to both the Knight of the White Orchid and your Far Haven Elf. Rude. I don't like that. And that's gonna be it. All right, well, I have no blocks, so I'm gonna take three in the air, going down to 37. I will also take three, going to 38. That's gonna do it for me. Pass turn to you, Rachel. Top that. I, I will untap, and I will draw my card for turn. All right, I'm going to play a Swamp as my land for turn, and then I'm gonna cast an Undead Butler. So when Undead Butler enters the battlefield, I'll mill three cards. I milled Oversold Cemetery, Reanimate, and Swamp. And then I'm gonna cast Stitch Together, targeting Thieving Amalgam. Uh-oh. And because I have Threshold, it'll go straight to the battlefield. Jeez. <laughs> that was my attempt to talk to you. It's not a dragon, but it is an ape and a snake. All right, I'll pass to you, Damon. Sounds great. I will untap. On your upkeep, Thieving Amalgam will trigger and I'll manifest the top card of your library. Uh-oh. I'm gonna draw for turn. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Raynar. Sweet. Nice. And then foretell this card to get some blockers for those pesky flyers. Mm -hmm. Ah, very nice. And when I foretell, I will create a spirit token. Move to combat, and my Knight of the White Orchid is unfortunately goaded, so it must attack. And uh, lady, I'm gonna attack you with Knight of the White Orchid. All right, Damon, I'll block with my Far Haven Elf. Works for me. All right, it's gonna go to the graveyard. Yeah. See you later. All right, and that's my final trick, so I'm just gonna pass over to you, lady. Okay, I will untap. On your upkeep, I will manifest the top card of your library. You can have this. Thank you. All right, and then I'll draw my card for turn. And then I'll cast Elvish Harbinger. Ooh. Oh. Mm. So I can just search my library for any elf card. Mm, scary. I'm gonna take Beast Whisperer and then shuffle my library and put that card on top of it. Now I'm gonna play Herald King of Skemfar. When he enters the battlefield, I'll look at the top five cards in my library and I can reveal an elf, warrior, or a Tyvar card from among them and put it into my hand. Pretty good. To nobody's surprise, I'm gonna put Beast Whisperer in my hand. Nice. <gasps> Gas. I'm shocked. <laughs> and because sequencing is important, I'll play my land now. Woo! And then I'll pass the turn, Jimmy. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna untap all my stuff and upkeep time. Here you go, Rachel. Thank you. Thieving. <sighs> I will now draw my card for turn. 
I'll play a land, it's Exotic Orchard. Right now, the only person with mana that I care about is you. Thanks, Damon, for that blue. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and tap for six mana. Oh no. Uh-oh. And cast the one dragon in my deck that doesn't care about cost reduction. It's Niv Mizzet Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good though. Yeah, very Pretty good. Pretty good. So that's gonna trigger my commander. Sarkon will become a copy of Niv Mizzet, but still retain his name. And uh, I believe it's time to go to combat. And you know what? I'm gonna swing Sarkon at you, Rachel, and Furcrag at you, Damon. That's gonna trigger my Furcrag, and I'm gonna be able to goad two creatures. So I will goad your undead butler, Rachel, and I will goad your Raynar. Well, I don't like that. I have no blockers, so I will take five. Going to 29. And I will throw my spirit under the bus and block your fur crag. Okay. Thinking nothing. And he will die. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. Pass turn to you, Rachel. All right, I will untap and then I will draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Mortuary Mire as my land for turn. When it enters the battlefield, I can put target creature card from my graveyard on top of my library. I'm gonna choose Blex and he will go on top of my library. I have been goaded, so I will go to combat and I will send this undead butler at you, Damon. For one. <laughs> For one? Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna block with my radar. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. That's it seems fine. like a good idea. That's fine, he'll die. <laughs> uh, Undead Butler has a dies trigger, but I do not have any creature cards in my graveyard right now. So I'm not gonna exile him. We'll just leave him in the graveyard for now. Hmm. Uh, and then I am going to pass the turn. Oh. At the end of your turn, Rachel, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap my Talisman of Progress for white, losing a life. Going to 36, and I'm gonna cast Cloud Shift to exile my Knight of the White Orchid. That's gonna trigger my Niv Mizzet, so I will draw a card. When I draw that card, I'm gonna deal one damage to your face, lady. Okay. <laughs> I'll go to 37. <laughs> All right, my uh, Cloud Shift will resolve, my Knight will exile and come back. This will trigger Raynar and himself. So Raynar, I will create a 1-1 one, one white spirit with flying. And my Knight of the White Orchid, Lady, you control more lands than me, so I get to go get a Plains card and put it onto the battlefield. Go for it. And I will get a Glacial Floodplain, which will enter the battlefield tapped. Sweet. I will untap, upkeep. This card is yours. Rightfully Thank so, you. I guess. Come on. All right, and I will draw for turn. I'm going to cast Kindred Discovery, mm. uh, choosing spirits. Oh, seems Whenever a spirit I control enters the battlefield or attacks, I draw a card. Dangerous. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move to combat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Raynar must attack. He does have Vigilance. Uh, Raynar is going to go at you, lady. And my spirit token is going to go at you, Rachel. And on attack, my Kindred Discovery is going to trigger, and I will draw two cards. Not bad. Nice. All right, I will take two. Going to 35. And I have no flyers. I will take one and go to 28. When that deals combat damage to Lady, that's gonna trigger my Fur Craig, and it's gonna get a plus one, plus one counter. And a draw card, and that will trigger my Niv Mizzet, and I'm gonna shoot that spirit out of the sky. No, not the spirit. Bonk. Okay, I'm gonna play a Fabled Passage as my land for turn. I'm gonna immediately crack it and I'm going to search my library for a basic land card, and I'm going to get a snow-covered plains. And since I control four more other lands, it's going to enter the battlefield untapped. And then I'll cast the good boy, Spirited Companion. And when it enters the battlefield, I get to draw a card. Cool. All right, and I'm gonna pass the turn over to you, lady. Excellent. I'll go ahead and I will untap. Rachel, this is for you. Thank you. You're not welcome. I'm out of manifest token, so this is just, that's manifest token. Nice. I believe you. I'll draw my card for turn. I will play Beast Whisper. <sighs> Sure does. Hey, beast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's time. I will play my commander, Abomination of Lattawa. Oh. Uh, Abomination is currently at five five. Because that's a creature card, Beast Whisperer will trigger, and I'll draw a card. I'll play my land for turn, which is a Oran Reef the Vastwood, nice. mm -hmm. which enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, quit hitting me! <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna pass the turn, so I can have blockers. Okay, untap, upkeep, Rachel, for Merry me. Christmas. Thank you. And then I will draw my card for the turn. When I draw that card, I'm gonna deal one damage to any target and it's gonna go ahead and hit. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't hit you dare. Dog. Dog. I'm gonna hit the dog. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, the Mizzet hates dogs. Uh, and then I'll play my land for a turn, it's a mountain. I will start things off by tapping for red, red, and one to cast a Laughless Dragon Queen! Uh, 
green. So scary. Oh okay. God. Sarkon is going to trigger. He will become a copy of Lathless, the Dragon Queen. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and go to combat. Who loves combat? Uh, lady. I heard lady loves combat. Nope, I do not. Oh, perfect. Well, everyone's getting a dragon. <laughs> and we will do it based on the life totals. Sarkon is a 6-6, six, six, and that's going to come at you, Damon. Fur Craig is a 4-4, four, four, that's going to go at you, Rachel. And then niv the 5-5 five, five is going to come at you, lady. On that combat, Fur Craig is going to trigger, and I get to goad three things. So, Damon, I'm going to goad Raynar. Lady, I'm going to goad Beast Whisperer. And Rachel, I'm going to goad your Thieving Amalgam. <gasps> Are you? I don't have any flyers, so I will take four. Going to 24. I'm just gonna take my six. Going to 30. And I'll take five. Going to 30. All right, second main, I'm going to tap for three mana and cast myself a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Mm. <laughs> when that enters the battlefield, it's gonna go to chapter one and I'll create a 2-2 Goblin Shaman that makes me treasures when it attacks. And uh, that's gonna do it for me. Pass, turn to you, Rachel. Rachel, hit him. Yeah. Hit him where it hurts. Uh, I can try. I will untap and I will draw my commander for turn. Uh, before combat, I am going to cast a Noxious Gear Hulk. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> when Noxious Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, I will attempt to destroy it. Lathless Dragon Queen. Well, uh, there is nothing I can do about that. So yeah, that's going to resolve. So I gain six life. Going to 30. And Lathless, the Dragon Queen, will die. It is time for a combat of my own. Uh, Thieving Amalgam is goaded, and I think, well, we have a moment where we gotta get some damage in on Jimmy. I'm gonna send the Thieving Amalgam at Damon and four manifest tokens at Jimmy. I'm going to chump block with my Knight of the White Orchid. Four two twos coming your way, Jimmy. I'll put a Goblin Shaman in front of my manifest token. Because mm. I want to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah. yeah. So that means I will take six damage from the remaining three manifests and go to 34. And then because this manifest token died, my Thabian Amalgam will trigger. You lose two life because I control this but don't own it. So I'll lose an additional two life and go to 32. And I will gain two life going to 32. Mm. These two will trade. Then my Knight of the White Orchid will die. And I get to find out it was a, oh, a vengeful ancestor. Yeah. Nice. Oh. All right, that's the best I can do. I will pass the turn. On your end step, Rachel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap my arcane signet for blue. I'm gonna cast rapid hybridization on your thieving amalgam. No, my ape snake. That's gonna trigger my Niv-Mizzet on cast, so I will draw a card. That's also gonna trigger my Niv-Mizzet, so I'll do one damage to your face, Rachel. Yeah, I'll go to 31. And then that's gonna kill your thieving amalgam and you're gonna get a 3-3 green frog lizard creature token. All right, I will untap, upkeep. Nope, you don't get it anymore. I will draw for turn. For my first trick, I will cast Skyclave Apparition. Uh, excuse me, can we not? Yes, yes we can. When it enters the battlefield, Jimmy, I'm gonna target your Sarkon to attempt to exile. <gasps> my Sarkon! Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about that, so Sarkon will get exiled, and I'll return him to the command zone. When my Skyclave Apparition enters the battlefield, because it's a spirit, I'm going to draw a card off of Kindred Discovery. And when I exile your creature, Raynar's going to trigger, and I'm going to create a 1-1 Flying Spirit. And because it is a spirit, I will draw a card off of my Kindred Discovery. Ugh, Am I the problem? Bad. All right, I'm going to use my commander to freely foretell this card. And when I foretell the card, I will create a spirit token with Raynar. Mm -hmm. which will trigger my Kindred Discovery and I will draw another card. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've drawn them like seven cards now. That's so good. That's crazy. As my land for turn, I will play City of Shadows. I will move to combat. My Raynar is goaded, so it must attack, and it must attack not Jimmy. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to swing at you, Rachel, for two. And on the attack, I will draw a card off of Kindred Discovery. I'll take two and go to 29. And on the damage, my fur crag will trigger. It's gonna get another plus one, plus one counter. And I will draw on another card, and Niv-Mizzet will trigger, and I'm gonna shoot one of your spirits out of the sky. Your choice. All right, I will respond to that oh. by tapping my City of Shadows to exile that spirit. Oh, and put no. a counter on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I exile that spirit, Raynar will replace it with another spirit. Oh my gosh. Which mm -hmm. will trigger my Kindred Discovery, and I will draw a card. We've made a mistake! I'm going to cast one of the cards I foretold. <gasps> I'm going to cast Shepherd of the Cosmos. And when the Shepherd of the Cosmos enters the battlefield, I'm going to get Fabled Passage from my graveyard and put it straight onto the battlefield. 
Oh, any permanent. Pretty good. Ow. Wow. I'm going to immediately crack my Fable Passage. I'm gonna go look for another basic land, and I'm gonna go get this snow-covered plains. And it will come in untapped, because I control four more lands. I'm just gonna pass, and I have to discard a hand size. I'm gonna discard this irrigated farmland. Nice. And I'll pass the turn over to you, lady. All right, I will untap my lands and draw my card for turn. I'm gonna play Prowess of the Fair. Oh, spicy. Board by protection. Very good. And then, I'm gonna play Parallel Lives. Oh, oh so pretty good. Again. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so, I will go to combat. All right, Jimmy, I'll attack you with the Abomination of Llanowar, and Damon, I will attack you with my Beast Whisperer. Abomination has Menace, I cannot block, so I will not block. And I'm going to block your Beast Whisperer with my Shepherd of the Cosmos. I'll take six commander damage. Go to 26. And my creature will eat your creature. Alrighty, so Beast Whisperer will go to the graveyard, and it is a non-token elf, so I will put two green elf warriors into play because of parallel lives. Pretty good. And now my abomination is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Fear me. Pass the turn to you, G. On your end step, lady, <sighs> I'm going to cast Path to Exile targeting Niv-Mizzet. Oh boy. That's gonna trigger my Niv-Mizzet, so I will draw a card. And then I'm gonna shoot down to one of your spirits. Goodbye. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. It's gonna resolve. And then Niv-Mizzet will get exiled. <laughs> and I will search my library for a basic land. Yep. I'm gonna find this mountain, and it's gonna come in the battlefield tapped. Right. And because I exiled your creature, Raynar will create a 1-1 one, one spirit token, which will trigger my kindred discovery, and I will draw a card. Okay, we are having some problems over here. All right, I'm going to untap, go to my upkeep, and I will draw my card for turn. First thing that's gonna happen is Fable of the Mirror Breaker will trigger and move to the second chapter. I can discard up to two cards, and if I do, I draw two cards. So I will discard two mountains, and I will draw two cards. One and two. How many cards does everybody have in hand? Three. Six. Seven. Why? Mm. Let's kick things off by tapping for five mana. And I also, too, want to have Kindred Discovery on the board. Oh no! A disaster! Choosing dragons. And then I'm gonna tap three mana and cast a Glory Bringer! Ooh. Roar! So that is going to trigger my Kindred Discovery, so I will draw a card. I'm gonna go to combat. Fur Crag is gonna come at you, Damon, and Glory Bringer is going to come at you, lady. I'm going to exert Glory Bringer when it attacks, and that's going to do four damage to your commander, Damon. Hmm, interesting. Kindred Discovery is also going to trigger twice, and I'll draw two more cards. And that's also going to trigger my Fur Crag, so I get to goad two creatures. So I'm going to goad your Skycliff Apparition, Damon, and Lady, I'm going to goad your Abomination of Llanowar. I'm going to respond to you targeting my Raynar with your Glory Bringer by flashing out a Force of Virtue. Oh. Exiling Cloud Blazer from my hand. But the important part is because I exiled a card from my hand, I will create a spirit token. Well, extra value there. And when that spirit enters the battlefield, it'll trigger my Kinder Discovery and I will draw a card. And I have no other responses, so my Raynar will die. Okay, blocks? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and block with my spirit token. I have no blocks, so I will take four. Going to 26. And my spirit will die. All right, last thing I will do is play my land for turn. It's a Fabled Passage and then I'll pass turn to you, Rachel. I will untap, I'll draw for turn. Hopefully this is gonna be a big turn. I'm gonna go straight to combat and I'm going to send a frog lizard and a noxious gear hulk at you, Damon. I'm going to block your frog lizard with my 4-4 shepherd of the cosmos mm -hmm. and I'm gonna take five. Okay. Going down to 25. The frog lizard will die. And then we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna cast a Bolas of Citadel. Oh. Oh. oh, that's dangerous. Sick. So Bolas of Citadel lets me look at the top card of my library. So let me take a look. Uh, I'm gonna cast a Demonic Tutor. Nice. Oh. Two life. Going to 27. Wow. So I will search my library. Hmm. I will go find this card, and it'll go straight to my hand. But let's see what this is. A swamp. Nice! Hey! That's great. Interesting. That, unfortunately, is the best I can do. I will pass the turn there. Not bad. Great. I will untap and draw my card for the turn. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cast my commander. Jeez. Uh, when my commander enters the battlefield, because it's a spirit, I will draw a card off of Kinder Discovery. Jeez. I'm going to use my commander to foretell this card for free. All right, and when I foretell that card, Raynar will give me a spirit token. When the spirit enters the battlefield, I will draw another card off of the Kindred Discovery. Gross. That's a good volume. Yeesh. I'm going to play it land, and I will go ahead and cast Ghostly Flicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, pretty bad. Didn't see that coming. And with my ghostly flicker, I'm going to target my Skyclave Apparition and my Shepherd of the Cosmos. Oof. Yeah, that's yep. good. That's real good. Because I exile those cards, Raynar will trigger and I will get a spirit. Oh my gosh. When the spirit enters the battlefield, it'll trigger my Kinder Discovery. I will draw a card. And when the Skyclave Apparition enters the battlefield because it's a spirit, I will draw another card. Oh my gosh. And things are so bad. And when each of those enters the battlefield, I will get their abilities. Shepherd of the Cosmos, I'm going to bring back the Fabled Passage. And with Skyclave Apparition, mm. I'm going to exile the uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Oh, okay. And when that is exiled, uh, Raynar will create another spirit. Ugh, oh so many. Oh you my draw goodness. One. We're giving away a guest spot on extra turns. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, uh, face yourself, Jimmy. Well, I just want to make sure people know. Obviously, our fans would never skip our well-written, expertly crafted mineral spots, but you just can't be too sure. Yeah, what Jimmy just screams? It is absolutely correct, everyone. We are partnering with Whatnot to give one lucky fan the chance to appear on Extra Turns. We've given a lot of cool stuff away on Whatnot, but this is by far the coolest. So for your chance at glory, join us live on March 27th at 1 p.m. Pacific. If you win, we'll fly you out to LA and you'll get to meet the whole Command Zone team. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity to come hang out and get to know the people behind the content that you love. And then of course, there's the main event where you get to show off your favorite deck to all of Magic Internet. While we crush you on Extra Turns, Josh. <laughs> what? I'm not going to go easy. They got to bring their A game. You've been warned, everyone. But that's not the only exciting thing about this stream. As we unpack our new office, we managed to scrounge together just one more round of Game Night's mystery boxes. These things are full of awesome merch like the Nemesis Playmats. And you'll want to nab one quick because the last couple of times we had them, they sold out in minutes. Oh. Yeah, we really put everything we had into these. This is literally all we've got left. So it might be your last chance to pick up this stuff. So if you want to get a mystery box or a chance to be on extra turns, make sure you go to whatnot.com slash invite slash command to sign up and you'll even get 15 bucks free to use anywhere on the platform. That's whatnot.com slash invite slash command. Get those $15 of free value and then join us on March 27th for a chance to be on extra turns. We'll see you there. This episode is sponsored by Etsy. <laughs> Greetings, acolytes. I, bringer of the last gift, have gathered you in this temple of the dead to honor our demonic lord, Aklazat. <laughs> with a birthday party. With my gift-giving reputation, I always freak out when Aklazat's birthday rolls around. What do you get the god who consumes everything? The trick is being thoughtful. And for that, you can now use gift mode on Etsy. They take the stress out of gifting so you can find the perfect item for anyone. When I need a custom custom cutting board for the baker in my life, I use Etsy. When I need an art print for the anime lover, I go to Etsy right away. When I need a cool puzzle for the steampunk, I make it myself. Just kidding, <laughs> I get it on Etsy. The Game Knights even sent me this cozy custom throw blanket for the holidays, and you know where they got it? On Etsy, of course. Cause the thing is, despite my name, no gift is ever really the last. There's always another birthday anniversary or party right around the corner. So whether it's a baby shower or the eternal rebirth of the Blood Lord, gift mode on Etsy always has you covered. Need to find the perfect gift? Don't panic, try gift mode now. And then I'm gonna flash out Illusory Ambusher. I will bolt it to draw three cards. I will sneak attack out Triska Decafile. I'm gonna go to my upkeep and I will win the game. <laughs> That was your first time playing the deck? Yeah. Well, I mean, first time in paper. I've already goldfished it like a hundred times on Architect. Their play tester is super user friendly. Playing cards just takes one click and you can mulligan, tutor, and move through your turns with the press of a key. There are simple menus with counters and copies and you can take notes on cards as you play them. Architect is the best place to browse, brew, and play test commander decks. Just go to architect.com slash command zone to get started. That's A-R-C-H-I-D-E-K-T dot com slash command zone. And when that spirit enters the battlefield, it'll trigger Kinder Discovery, I will draw a card. I'm going to move to combat. It looks like only these two spirits can attack, so Rachel, they're gonna come at you. And when they attack, I'm going to draw two cards. Sure. Uh, because they're buffed by Force of Virtue, I will take four damage, going to 23. All right, uh, I'm going to pass and I have to discard a hand size. Yeah, yes, you, do. you do. Oh my goodness Dear gracious. God. Anything notable? Three lands and a wall of moments. Mm, okay. And I will pass the turn over to you, lady. I will untap all of my lands and I will draw my card for turn. All right, so I'll tap two and play Treasured Find, which will allow me to return a card from my graveyard to my hand. So I'm gonna get back that Beast Whisperer. Nice, very nice. All right. And then I will play the Beast Whisperer. Yep. All right, I'm gonna move to combat and Damon, I'm gonna swing at you with the Abominational Land War. I am just going to chump block with my two spirits. That's not the worst. It's taking, two things it's, gone. You take four power out of this guy. All right, I will play my land for turn. So I will play a Lenor Wastes. Okay, I'll pass the turn to you, Jimmy. On your end step, I'm going to crack my Fabled Passage. 
Nice card. Go for it. Jimmy Wong, the shuffler. The shuffler. That's gonna get a mountain into the battlefield, and then I will untap for my turn. Glorybringer won't untap because it's exerted. I'll draw a card. All right, I'm going to tap five mana once again, and I love five mana enchantments, so now we've got the reflections of Litiara, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna choose Dragon. So whenever I cast a dragon, I copy that spell. Ho, 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 ho. Is it cast or enter the battlefield? Cast. Uh, cast. cast, yeah. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna then tap two red mana, and I will be casting a battle. Oh. It's oh. the invasion of Tarkir. Tarkir. Oh, that works. Oh. Not Tarkir. Uh, when this enters the battlefield, I reveal any number of dragon cards in my hand, and then deals X plus two damage to any other target where X is the number of cards revealed this way. So if I do one dragon, it's two damage. If I do three dragons, it's five. Cool. I'm going to reveal three dragons from my hand, so that X is going to be equal to three. I'm gonna deal five damage to your commander, Damon. Okay, I will respond to that. Yep. I'm going to crack my Fable Passage and go get a basic land. Uh-oh. All right, and with my Fable Passage, I'm going to get a Plains. I'm going to use that Plains and my City of Shadows to cast Momentary Blink targeting my commander. Oh. <laughs> no response. No responses. My commander will be exiled and then he will come back. And in doing so, I will create a spirit. And drawing two cards? And I will draw two cards. Oh, Ugh. gross. So good. Could you not? I can't help it. Okay, well that damage isn't going anywhere then. And Invasion of Tarkir is going to fully resolve. It's gonna enter with five defense counters and I'm going to choose Rachel to protect it. All right. Nice, you keep that safe. I'm pretty bad at that, honestly, <laughs> especially from dragons. <laughs> When it flips, it turns into Defiant Thunder Maw. It's a flying trample dragon. Whenever a dragon I control attacks, it deals two damage to any target. We call this Ooh. the Spirit Killer. So. Oh, oh, is that what it's called? I yeah. see Interesting. what you did there, Jimmy. It yeah. might be a little, you got you know. no blocks from me. And then I'm going to tap uh, two red mana and cast Leyline Tyrant. Sweet. That's gonna trigger Reflections of Lit Yara and Kindred Discovery. So I will make a copy of it and then I will draw two cards. Pretty good. Yep, very good. No lands. <laughs> I feel bad. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat and I can't get through combat wise to Damon, unfortunately, but I can to you, lady. So five damage in the air with Furcrag. When that attacks, I am going to goad your uh, abomination of Lanoir, lady. Mm-hmm. Very nice. No, not nice. <laughs> On the attack, Kindred Discovery will trigger. I'll draw another card. I'm gonna take five. Going to 21. That's gonna do it for me. Pass turn to you, Rachel. All right. Can we crawl out of I this will one? Untap and draw for turn. I hope you don't. Boss is it'll. Interesting. That's good. Mm, we uh -oh. like interesting. I like good. I don't That's like good. good. Uh, I'm going to pay three life and cast this spell off the top. It's Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Oh, cool. Mm. So I will pay three life, going to 20. Ayara enters the battlefield, everybody loses one life, and I gain one life. Great, I will take one going to 24. I will take one going to 20. I'll go to 25. And I will go back up to 21. I will play the swamp off the top. Nice. I'm going to cast this skull clamp. Ooh. I love that. Uh, and then I'm gonna pay one and equip it to the Noxious Gear Hulk. And then I will go to combat. Uh, and Damon, I will attack you with a 6-3 Menace. Yep, it seems pretty obvious that you wanna draw those cards, so I'm just gonna take six. Ooh, that's good too. All right. Yeah, going to like 18. Okay with you taking six. We like that. Uh, I'm gonna cast Corpse Churn. Ooh. I will mill three cards and then I can return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Okay, nice. Great. All right, we're moving. All right, I will mill three cards. A Swamp, a Swamp. Oh, wow. And a Swamp. Oh, Did wow. Did you need those Swamps? And Nine more. And I will return the Undead Butler to my hand. Great. Nice. And we look. All right, I'm gonna cast a Discerning Taste up the top. Ooh. Okay. I will pay three life to cast it, going to 18. Then I'll look at the top four cards of my library. I will put one into my hand. Uh, I'll keep this one. And then I'll put these three cards into my graveyard. An Abhorrent Overlord and a Worm Coil Engine. That's really good. Plus a Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. Nice. The highest power is six, so I'll gain six life, going up to 24. Ooh, not bad. Mm, okay. Not bad. All right. Uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, attempt to cast this death and return target card from my graveyard to play. I lose life equal to its converted mana cost. Targeting my abhorrent overlord. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> yeah, that's powerful. Uh, I will respond by casting a force of will. Yeah. Oy, mm -hmm. What kind of card is that? And I will exile a ethereal Valkyrie, which will create a spirit for right now. And draw a card. And lose a, a life. force of will again drips. I lose a life going to 17. 
create a spirit, and that spirit will draw me a card. Mm. And uh, yeah, I will attempt to counter it. All right, I have no counter magic in my mono black deck, but I still have to tap for it, unfortunately. All right, we are going to use my last bit of mana here to cast an undead butler. When it enters, I will mill three cards, a Cabal Stronghold, a Gorging Vulture, and a Mutilate. When that enters, I triggers a Yara, everybody loses one, and I gain one. I'll go to 16. And I'll go to 19. I'll go to 24. And I'm up to 25. That is also a land. She's so good at bluffing. Uh, she is. It's really impressive. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, I have a feeling I'm gonna die next turn. So I will just pass the turn. All right, I'm gonna untap all my lands here and draw my card for the turn. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foretell this card for free using Raynar, which will give me a spirit token. All right, when that spirit enters the battlefield, I will draw a card off of Kinder Discovery. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to suspend this Lotus Bloom from my hand. <laughs> Spirit. Uh, because it is exiling a card from my hand, I will create another spirit token. And when that spirit enters the battlefield, I will draw a card. Ugh. I'm going to tap one to play Soul Ring, and then I'm going to cast Amphimutineer. Salamander time. Uh, when it enters, I get to exile a non-Salamander creature, and that creature's controller creates a Salamander creature token. I'm going to exile your uh, Ayara. Okay, I do not have a plan for that. Ayara will be exiled. <laughs> But I will get a salamander. Just for you. Thank you. Ooh. And because I exiled a creature, Raynor will trigger, I will create another spirit. Draw another card. And it will draw another card. Yikes. I'm going to cast Crush Contraband. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to choose to exile the Bolas of Citadel and the um, Kindred Discovery under your control. No! Wow. Okay, are they exiled? They're exiled. Okay, fine. Uh, well, I could sacrifice 10 permanents, but I think that would leave me too far behind. So I guess I'll just let it be exiled. Yep, mm -hmm. I have no response. Uh, I don't have any response either. Great, time for the house to go. One last look. All right, Kindred Discovery gets exiled, which sucks, I was gonna draw like 80 cards. Well, the Citadel will get exiled And because well. I exiled a permanent on the battlefield, Raynor will trigger. Ugh. I'll create another spirit and draw another card. Oh my god, all of the removal spells can't trip. It's so bad. Yeah, that's I crazy. Know. I will move to combat. Rachel, I'm gonna attack you with my five spirits and my Raynor. That's a lot. All right, and on attacks, I am going to draw six cards. <sighs> Oof. That's bad. All right, I have no flying blockers. I will take 13. Going to 12. Woo! All right, and I'll play my land for turn. Lady, I'm going to pass to you. I have to discard a hand size. Right. Oh! I'm going to discard three lands, a sword of hearth at home, and a stoic farmer. And I pass over to you, lady. Okay, let's untap all of my lands here and draw my card for the turn. I will play a swamp, and I'm going to start out by casting Yeva, Nature's Herald. Nice. And because that was a creature spell, I'll draw a card because of Beast Whisperer. Okay, I'm gonna move to combat. Damon, I'm gonna attack you with my Abomination of Land War. It's a 9-9 with Vigilance and Menace. That's big. That is big. I will just jump block with two of my spirits. Okay. And then I'll play Shout of the Pack. Wait, yeah. Where are you thinking about sending that damage to? I don't know, I couldn't <laughs> possibly imagine who I would send it at. The one that had to discard five cards in hand side, probably. <laughs> uh, if you're thinking about it coming at me, it might not It might not happen the way you want it to. You know what? Come up Comeuppance. Damon, it's gonna go at you. I'm sorry, bud. Okay, I will respond to that. I will cast one of my cards that I foretold. I called it a secret. I will cast Mystic Reflection. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I will choose my spirit token. So the next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers will enter the battlefield this turn, they instead enter as copies of the chosen creature. Ah, so Shaman so of the Pack. So instead of having a Shaman of the Pack, you will have a spirit token. If you can't make another creature enter on top of it or sack something to make tokens. Nope. Okay. Just what it is. It is a spirit. Here. It'll be this one. <laughs> a flying you have blocker. You a flying blocker. Lady. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, look at me. Wow. Spirit blocker over here. Ain't life grand. Then my Beast Whisperer trigger will resolve and I'll draw a card. All right, Jimmy. I tried. Okay, you did. I'm going to untap and I will draw my card for turn. I will start things off by tapping for three mana and cast Terror of the Peaks. Oh God, oh God. Oh God. When I cast that Reflection to Lit Yara will trigger and I'll make a copy. Responses. Yep. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a thing. Now it gives okay. two. 
So the copy is going to come in first, and then it's going to see the original Terror of the Peaks. I'm going to have it do five damage to the battle. Ooh, oh. that's spicy. That battle will take five and will be defeated. And I will cast the other side, which is a defiant Thunder Maw. Very cool. This is very cool. And because of Reflections of Lit Yara, it will create a copy. In response to the Reflections of a y Lit Yara trigger, I have to assume that that damage is going to come at me. Mm -hmm. So first thing I'm going to do is tap this for a white, and I'm going to cast Ephemerate targeting the Amphimutineer. Okay. Mm. Uh, my Amphimutineer will leave the battlefield and re-enter. Because I exiled a creature, Raynar will trigger, giving me a spirit, which will draw me a card. Then the Enter the Battlefield trigger will go off, and I will target the Terror of the Peaks. All right. This will give you a 4-3 Salamander. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> which? Which will trigger your Terror of the Peaks. <laughs> All right, so that will trigger the first Terror of the Peaks. I will have that do four damage to your face then. And I will take four going to 12. And because I exiled a creature, Rain Arbor Trigger, I will create another spirit. And I will draw another card. The next thing I will do is I'm going to cast Resculpt targeting your other Terror of the Peaks. Okay. To exile it, and you get a 4-4 elemental token. If you want to target it, it will cost you three life. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die to your uh, Terror of the Peak anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to pay that three life. Okay. My second copy, Terror of the Peaks, goes away. Uh, what do I get? You get a 4-4. Four, four. All right, and because I exiled your creature, Raynor's gonna trigger again and I'll make another spirit, drawing another card. Ugh. Cool, no worries. Do you think we can make him draw all his cards? <laughs> Finally, still with those on the stack, I'm gonna tap my City of Shadows to exile one of my spirits. Put a counter, I will lose a spirit, and then Raynor will replace the spirit because I exiled a, a uh, permanent from the battlefield. Gotcha. And you draw a card. And I will draw a card. Okay, um, that was all I had. So Ooh, proceed okay. with your turn. All right, Reflections of the ER, a copy, and the Defiant Thunder Maw will now enter the battlefield. There's no more uh, special dragons to see it. So I'll just get two four fours there. Okay, next up, I will tap for three mana here. And I'm gonna cast Luzon Dragon's Legacy. <laughs> oh, more dragon damage. Okay. Reflections of the Yara will trigger, so it's going to get another dragon, but it's a legendary creature, so that will just go away. I'll keep the original. And then I will tap another three mana, and I will cast a Rapacious Dragon. <laughs> when I cast it, I'll have two triggers. Reflections of the Yara will give me a copy, and then Lozon will trigger on that cast. And I get to do five damage to any target that isn't a commander. Damon, I think you know where that five is going. Well, it could it be me? Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be your face. All right, I'm going to take five. I go to four. Gonna be you. I'm at four. That's now, pretty low. <laughs> now I'm going to have two rapacious dragons enter the battlefield, which means I get four treasure tokens. Sounds getting real party, low. Party, party me. Dragon storm. And then I will sacrifice four of those treasures to cast a steel hellkite. Oh, God. Okay. Steel hellkite sure. is also going to get a couple of triggers here. So Lozan will trigger first, and I will deal six damage to your face, lady. Okay. Oh. Spreading the love. I'll go to Not 13. <laughs> That'll create a copy, and then I will go to combat. Anybody got a fog? I'm gonna swing two of my Leyline Tyrants at you, Rachel. I will swing Fur Craig and Glorybringer at you, lady. When they attack, I'm gonna have two Defiant Thunder Mars that trigger per dragon. That's gonna be four damage at you, Rachel, four damage at you, Damon, and then I'm gonna have eight damage, but I can split it up, lady, so I'm gonna send two at the Spirit, and then six at your face. And Fur Craig is gonna trigger, so I will goad Rachel, your noxious Gear Hulk, and of course, Lady, your Abomination of Lanoir. All right, my spirit will die. All right, I will That's go to eight. And I will go to zero, dying immediately to the dragons. <laughs> Two of those manifest for your stamen, so they go away. I'm happy to have them back. Okay, no blockers. I got nothing. Does that mean I win? No. <laughs> <laughs> Arachnogenesis? No, oh my no. god, you did have a fog! <laughs> oh man, okay, so you make two 1 2 green spiders? Normally I would get two 1 2 green spiders, but because of Paralives, lives, I'll get four. What? And they have reach! Whoa! Okay, now Whoa. we go to blockers. So I will block the Glory Bringer with all four of these. Okay. And I still have no blocks, but I'm alive? <laughs> yeah, I think yes. so. Unless it's a spider dragon. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go to damage. My glory bringer will die because it's a not, uh, it's taking damage from spiders. <laughs> and, uh, geez, I guess, I guess that's gonna do it for my turn then. Whoa. Okay, uh, I will untap and draw for turn. 
I'm going to pay five, and I'm going to cast a Worm Harvest. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, do you gain life? Nope. Oh, okay. Because uh, I don't have a Yara, but I do have six land cards in my graveyard, so I'll make six Worm Tokens. Not bad. And then I will go to combat because I am forced. And lady, I will attack you with this 6-3 Noxious Gear Hulk. It's got menace. It do. I will actually double block with my Elvish Harbinger and, and Harold. Okay. So. Uh, before it dies, I am going to pay black and cast Malakir Rebirth, targeting the Noxious Gear Hulk. Ooh, it's coming back. Yeah. So I lose two life. <laughs> going to six. And then we go to combat damage. Noxious Gear Hulk dies, as do yours. And I have two dies triggers. Uh, first, Noxious Gear Hulk will come back. So I will have the Noxious Gear Hulk destroy the Defiant Thunder Maw. All right, it dies. I gain four life, going up to 10. And then I draw two cards from the Skull Clamp. All right, when those two elves die, I get four more elves because of my prowess of the fair. All right, I will play my land for turn. It's a Cabal Coffers. Ooh, Ooh, perfect. And then I will make four black mana with my Cabal Coffers because I control four swamps. And I will cast a Sangromancer. Oh. That is the best I can do. I will pass. Alrighty then. I will untap, draw for turn. <clears throat> I'm gonna play Casualties of War. Oh, that handles some problems. Targets. Okay. Targets. <laughs> well, I'm going to destroy Reflections of Lit Yara, the copy of Defiant Thunder Maw, Steel Hell Kite. I'll count that as an artifact. And Rachel, your Cabal Coffers. Yeah. Big spell. Okay. Jimmy, you had two creatures die, so I gained six life. Up Whoa. to 16. All right, I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rachel, I'm going at you with the Abomination of Land War. It doesn't mean more, I just have to. Jimmy made me. Well, I don't want to get hit by that, so I will block it with an undead butler and a worm. Undead butler has a dies trigger. I am going to return a creature from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, I'm going to return an abhorrent overlord to my hand. That's all I can do. Pass the turn to you, Jimmy. Okay. All right, well, I'll go ahead and untap all of my stuff here, and I will draw a card for turn. I'll kick things off by tapping two mana and casting a orb of dragonkind. Um, I'm going to immediately tap one red and crack it. So I'll sacrifice it and I'll look at the top seven cards in my library. I will reveal a Swashbuckler Extraordinaire as my <laughs> dragon. That'll go to my hand. No and the rest of these will go onto the bottom of my library. Okay. I will tap for one red and I will cast that Swashbuckler Extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. That will trigger Lazan. I'll deal the three damage to your Sangromancer. Pretty Rachel. good. Can't do anything about that. That'll create the treasure when it enters the battlefield. Yep. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and go to combat. So Rachel, you're gonna have two Leyline Tyrants as well as one Lozon Dragon's Legacy coming at you. Mm -hmm. Lady, you have a copy of a Steel Hellkite, two Rapacious Dragons, and one Furcrag coming at you. Swashbuckler Extraordinaire is gonna trigger. I'll sacrifice a treasure and I'll give one of my Leyline Tyrants double strike. Yeah. And then Fear Crag, just in case it matters, will once again goad your Abomination Lady, and then I will goad your Noxious Gear Hulk, Rachel. Okay, I don't think I'll have it long. Uh, I have no blocks. I will block all four with my Spiders with Reach. All right, so go to damage. First strike damage. I go to 12. Then regular damage. I go to dead. The dragons, they're everywhere. Ah! Death. <laughs> I die controlling your stuff, so I'm gonna send your steam vents to exile and lady, your forest and lathril. No! <laughs> uh. <laughs> that hurts. And then all four of my dragons are blocked by one of your spiders. Yep, and all four spiders will die. Next up, I will tap for two mana and I will cast a nimble claw adept, which is a dragon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lozon will trigger, so I get to do four damage to any target. Let's go ahead and direct it at the Beast Whisperer. All right. Seems okay. When the Beast Whisperer dies, I create two more elves. Yep. And the last thing I'm going to do before I pass turn is I will pay one red, and I'm going to Vandal Blast your Soul Ring. Rude. Soul Ring will go to the graveyard. And that's going to do it for me. Pass turn to you, lady. All right. Big money, no whammies. I will untap my lands, and I will draw my card for turn. Oh. And do you have a way to kill him? 
All right, Jimmy. Well, I can't kill you, and I can't survive the crackback, so it's your game. Woohoo! All right, All right. Jimmy Wong with dragons. Dragons. It's the only thing Crap. I can do. Wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I win with dragons. Yeah! Victory. Jimmy, Rawr. you won with dragons. I'm breathing fire out of every orifice I can. Through my nose and my eyeballs. Now we'll start again. <laughs> Too many orifices. <laughs> orifices, huh? <laughs> that was a word. I made a choice. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. We're just going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. It was, great to see <laughs> it was great to have Lady Danger back on our content again. And uh, great for Damon to get yeah. to, you know his first. He had shot. a really strong start. I I remember thinking in that game, there's no way I'm going to beat Damon. Yeah, I've played against that Reynard deck before, and it is quite powerful. And Damon's a good player. Yeah, so it was really good to see him actually finally featured on the content. I think you'll enjoy his gameplay as well. The decks are well built, but of course, dragons are they're going to take the day. What are you going to do? Speaking of someone's first appearance on extra turns, well, I don't exactly. know. Yeah, if you accidentally skipped the mid roll ads, you would never do that, of course, right? Yeah. Uh, you may have missed the fact that we are giving away a guest spot on a future episode of Extra Turns. Uh, we're going to do this on a Whatnot stream next month, March 27th. Uh, we're, we do giveaways on all our Whatnot streams. Usually it's like booster packs, booster boxes, yeah. things like that. In this one, one of the giveaway giveaways will be a guest appearance on Extra Turns. We'll fly you out to Los Angeles. You'll hang out with us and our crew, and you'll get to be on the show yeah. and have your chance at Commander Glory. Yeah, show off your favorite brew to the entire world. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and again, it's going to be on March 27th on our WhatNot stream. Go to whatnot.com slash invite slash command if you haven't made an account yet. You also get 15 free bucks to use on the platform, just straight up. So you could buy something from our site, or you can do it from somewhere else. It really is incredible free value, and you could just win free stuff throughout the giveaway including that extra guest spot. Yeah, and uh, if you want to tune up your deck for that possible appearance on Ooh. Extra Turns, go to cardkingdom.com slash command. The thing we love the most about Card Kingdom is they have a huge inventory, which means if you're brewing up a deck from scratch or maybe you're upgrading a pre-con, yeah. it's really simple. You just add the cards to your cart, as many of them as you feel like, and then magically they all appear Aww. in your mailbox in one single package. Card Kingdom is the only one that we will trust to get the cards to us in the condition and everything that they say they will. So again, cardkingdom.com slash command. And look, you may not win the extra spot on the extra turns, but you could dress and play like an extra turns player by going to ultrapro.com slash command. You can get everything that we use on our shows. That's right, the play mats, the decks, the boxes, the sleeves, the dice, all of that stuff. We trust Ultra Pro a lot. We've used them for our own collection for many, many years. All the binders in my office right now are all Ultra Pro. So if you want to deck your deck out, haha, see that? Uh, with the art from the new set or maybe the art from the secret layers, just go to ultrapro.com slash command. They have tons of great deals all the time too. Sometimes you'll just see a flash deal where it's like 50% off and all this sweet stuff. You're like, what? What an incredible deal. So ultrapro.com slash command, a great place to get deals on the stuff that you need to make your magic protection look super duper sweet. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hey, don't tell them they may not be the guest. They, they need to manifest. They need right. to stay positive. Think about you it. You may Trust be us. the guest chosen. March 27th, I will become, well, not me, but you will be the guest on Extra Turns. <laughs> and the winner is Jimmy Wong. What? That, no that might way. be weird. That might be weird. People might, that might be sucks. Yeah, two people named Jimmy Wong? Strange. <laughs> strange, strange reality. Who would miss land drops if there's two of you? Exactly. <laughs> two of us equals one normal player. <laughs> Incredible. All right, make sure you guys check out the whatnot stream March 27th. Sign up with the invite code as well to get some free uh, credits to use on the website and we'll see you soon all right thanks bye peace